Yeah, he's feeling good, so we're going to give him a go tonight. Uh, what can just getting that piece uh, back with uh, Rondo and LeBron continue to be out? What can that do for you? Well, he's one of our uh, dynamic players. Uh, you know, he, he gives us some some uh, some needed offense. Uh, you know, he's always competed at a very high level. So, you know, at this you know point, we're trying to we're trying to get bodies back and get things going again. So, uh, we'll, we'll we'll take them as they come. After watching the last couple of games, Luke, and those the first quarters had some similarities. Uh, what's the most important thing tonight in getting going early? We got to do a better job defensively. Um, we've actually turned those you know last two games into to decent defensive games, um, but you know we, we're we're digging ourselves huge holes to try to crawl out of, which is challenging uh, any night, uh, let alone when you, you know, you're down down in bodies like we are. So uh, we got to we got to come out with a, a much stronger defensive mindset to, to start the game tonight. So what have you noticed generally since LeBron's been out and Ronda too about the offense, uh, on, specifically on that side of the ball? Well, it's, you know, things change. Uh, we ran, the, those are two of our primary uh, ball handlers, playmakers that we run a lot of things for. So uh, we kind of had to uh, somewhat, uh, you know, start over with how we're going to be effective on that end of the court. So uh, there's a, a lot of responsibility on, on guys, um, you know, that we haven't been putting on them throughout throughout games so far this season and it's just you know it's something that uh, we're still confident we we can do a good job of uh, but we can also do things that to really help ourselves like uh, knock down some some free throws and uh, you know hit some hit some of those those open threes especially early to get our confidence going since you know it's such a young group but uh, we'll figure it out um, you've won two games against Mavs before um, obviously don't have the problem but what about those performances do you think can translate to tonight um, well we should be familiar with what they're doing their players uh, you know we've had some some really nice defensive efforts from, from guys that we still have uh, playing tonight so you know, again uh, to me we, we always give ourselves the best shot of winning when we're competing defensively and that way, whether the shots are dropping or not, at least we, we give ourselves a chance. To add on to that, you guys have had a, you guys have contained uh, Luca in your matchups this year. How do you guys approach him? He's really good. He, he, he's really good, and it's never one man's job. But um, I think Brandon's done a really nice job of using his lane. Uh, we've thrown Kuzma on him a little bit uh, and, and contesting and just making it making it hard. You know, making him take difficult shots. But he's uh, he's having a heck of a of a rookie season. And, you know, we'll, we'll do our best to to, uh, to try to have him have a slow night again. Did you, talk, did you talk about JaVale coming back from being sick and ill and how his performance been since being back on the court? Well, it's, it's nice having him back. Uh, now he's trying to get his legs back, his weight back. He, you know, he, he lost a lot of weight while he was out and he couldn't do anything. You know, it wasn't like he, you know, he could go in and get workouts in as a rehab. It was literally laying in bed every day. Uh, trying to just get food in and, and things like that to hey we're down and out we need you on the court so uh, you know he's he's still not back to where he was but he, he's getting much closer. Is this another game where you might play two bigs together? On the same time? Um, we might, but that experiment didn't go very well. So that's that's one of the the, the uh, one of our options that's kind of buried on the list right now. You know, what kind of strange circumstances last night? Were you surprised that Tom Thibodeau was fired? Uh, I was a little surprised. Um, you know, it's, you never want to see that happen to anybody. Um, so uh, it's, it, it's it's unfortunate. You contain Luca. You never really see a step back three. But what about that shot? Makes it such a weapon for him. The step back three? Yeah. Well, he does a great job of getting separation, and then his his size that he has and where he shoots it from. Uh, you know, as far as you know, anywhere on the court, uh, you have to be alert at all times. It's it's a uh, it's a pretty pretty dangerous weapon he has. Um, so, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll, it's part of our scout. We'll do our best to take that away from him. How tough is it to get on balance for a shot like that, being his size? You know, 6'8", 220, you know, that. It doesn't seem to very, be very tough for him. It do, <laughs> he's, he does it, you know, he, get, he, gets, he gets his feet back under him, and he's never really fading away when he does it. So, uh, I, it's impressive. 
the, I'm not sure this relates to the actual game, but with uh, Mo and, and, and Bonga growing up in Germany and you know, Turkey being here, have you gotten any sense of them, just kind of what he meant to them growing up and what this is going to be like? Not tonight, but in general, yeah. They, um, Mo's talked about it. He's, I mean, he's kind of the national treasure there, so growing up, you know, that's kind of who they all look up to. So um, we'll try to keep Mo off of them. Notice when... <laughs> When, uh, when legends get guys that look up to them, guarding them, they kind of have their way with them. So if Mo plays tonight, we'll, we'll match them up somewhere else. Coach, Coach, what about you in terms of having competed against Dirk and now coached against <clears> him and, and seen his impact in the game? And this potentially could be a, for you guys crossing paths. He hasn't said for sure what plans are next year, but it certainly is possible. What are your thoughts as you know a career like that comes to an end, potentially? Well, he's one of the all-time greats. I mean, he's, he's helped revolutionize this game, the way that, you know, from seven feet, he shoots the ball, and, uh, you know, especially when he was in his prime, you know, he, he, he was unstoppable. And, you know, being, you know, coming from over, you know, overseas like he did and, and winning a championship and, and doing all the things he's done and scoring the points he scored, uh, it's really, um, you know, the modern game we play is, to, to me, a lot to, has to do with guys like Dirk that, had that ability to be big and stretch the floor and put all that type of pressure on defenses, whether you had the ball or not. Coach, what have you seen from Ray John as a leader and some sorts of mentor uh, to Lonzo? He's been great. He's, you know, there's a reason he's a champion. There's a reason he's been in the league this long. And, um, you know, as far as the way he works and takes care of himself and he's in the film room and he's uh, mobilizing, uh, you know, working with younger players. Uh, he's been a great, uh, great most role model to have around.